Ever heard of GDAO, the Geospatial Data Abstraction Library? Outside of geoinformatics, few people have. It's very likely, though, that you are using GDAO every day without even knowing. In 1998, GDAO originated with the purpose of translating raster formats. Since then, it has been constantly growing and evolving. Today, it supports more than 160 raster formats, more than 80 vector formats, and carries around 50 functions. GDAL is a geospatial Swiss Army knife. It understands raster and vector formats and facilitates working with them. This includes the conversion of different formats and the processing of data, like changing resolutions. And it really shines in enabling other software, where it serves as the backbone. The best is GDAO is open source software. It is licensed under an MIT style license that allows its reuse for free, also within proprietary software. GDAO's source code is openly available on GitHub and it has an active community which contributes to its success. Currently, there are more than 600 contributors and there have already been 7,000 issues solved. GDAO is the backbone of countless other software solutions. You'd be surprised where you can find it. Of course, in open source software like QGIS, also in big players like Google Earth, in private software like ArcGIS, and in geospatial programming libraries for R and Python. Nearly any ad raster function is backed by GDAO. It already translates 160 formats. And if there's a new format, it will appear in GDAO. And if not, it's a lot less work to add to GDAO than to write your own full-fledged data model. Hey, that's not a reason to come up with another new raster format. GDAO plays a key role in EO cloud computing because it adapts quickly to new technologies such as cloud-native data formats, like cloud-optimized GeoTIFF and it's free. As cloud computing is expanding, user numbers grow, and the license cost for proprietary software would explode using commercial software. This is why open source software is so common in cloud computing. Nearly all EO cloud platforms have GDAL involved, Google Earth Engine, the Microsoft Planetary Computer, and Open EO Platform. As you see, GDAO is critical infrastructure for the geospatial domain and far beyond. And it is just one example. There are so many other open source initiatives in geospatial that organizations have formed to keep track of them and provide networks for collaboration. FOS4G, OGC, GEO, OSGEO, to name the most important. The geospatial domain cannot be imagined without open source software.